In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of importing a character from Accurig into Unreal Engine 5.6 and retargeting animations to that character. We'll go step by step through the process from exporting your character from Accurig to Unreal Engine and then apply motion animations from an existing Unreal Engine skeleton to your custom character. I've provided the links for Accurig and the auto setup for Unreal Engine in the description. Open Accurig and load the character you want to rig. This can be either an FBX file or an OBJ file. I've provided the link to the character I'm using in the description. Use the rotate character options to make sure the character is centered. Activate force symmetry to make sure the rig is the same on both sides of the character. In order to rig the character, click on Rig Body. You're now able to see the joints. However, you need to make sure the joints are in the correct position, following the guide to the right. Once you have the joints in the correct positions, choose Rig Hands. Choose the correct number of fingers in the menu for your character. You're now able to see the hand joints. Make sure the hand joints are in the correct position, following the guide to the right. When you're done, select Calibrate to generate the rig. Use the Acting tab to make sure the rig is working correctly. Make sure you use an A pose to export the character. To export the character, you need to click on Add Motions. You will now see an export option. Choose Export FBX. The target application is Unreal. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using Character Only.
you can use the original option for the textures. Download and install the Auto Setup for Unreal Engine. The link is in the description. Create a folder for the character and import the accurate character. Leave everything at default except under the skeletal mesh options. Activate use time zero as ref pose to avoid any anomalies with the skeleton. Also make sure import morph targets is activated. Under the general options, I'll change the offset uniform scale for the character I'm using to 0 0.5 to make sure he doesn't import too large. Make a new folder for the textures and import the textures into the new folder. Open each material and connect the texture to the base color. Open the folder containing your accurate character, add a new folder for animations. Open the mannequin folder and the anims folder. Select an animation, right click and choose retarget animations. Change the target skeletal mesh to your accurate character and make sure the auto generate retargeter is activated. Search for the animation you chose from the folder and then choose export animations. Choose the animation folder you just made. Then when you play the game, you can now see the animation working as expected. Thanks for following along with this tutorial. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.